Hey guys, welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet and welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome to the familia. So guys, I am so excited. As you guys know, I love doing lip swatches for you guys, especially showing you in studio lighting and in daylight so you can really see like the real feel, texture, the look of the lipstick. And today we are trying out these brand new Essence lipsticks to show you guys how they look in studio lighting and in daylight just so we get a good feel, you know? So if you're interested in seeing how it all goes down, trying out these $4 lipsticks in studio lighting and in daylight please don't forget to like subscribe and turn notifications on because i'm always here and follow me on my socials because i'm always there too and let's get started hey guys welcome so let's start i have nothing on my lips and we have here the lipsticks they're the essence long lasting lipsticks and they come sealed so that's nice all i did was just twist it and it comes in your you know typical component it's like a classic lipstick you see it has the e right there these retail only for 3.99 each i bought these at ulta so it's a long lasting color in one swipe long lasting lipsticks come with a comfortable and lightweight formula that doesn't dry out lips this is vegan paraben free and alcohol free also at the bottom has long lasting and then the number so they're numbered one through eight i got all eight shades and yeah, I thought that's pretty cool. I like that it has this sticker so you know what shade you're looking for or you want because this is just a black component and looking at it like this, you wouldn't really know. You know what I mean? All right, guys, this is how they look with the caps off. Number one through eight. And here below are the numbers. And guys, per the usual, I know you guys like it this way, is I'm going to do all the lip swatches first. And then we're going to talk at the end all about them. So this is the shade number one, Curious. This is the shade Curious. And in daylight, this is the shade Curious number one. All right, guys, moving on to number two, Just Perfect. This is the shade Just Perfect. And in daylight, this is the shade Just Perfect, number two. All right, guys, moving on to number three, Unforgettable. This is the shade Unforgettable. And in daylight, this is the shade Unforgettable. All right, guys, moving on to number four, Naive. This is the shade Naive. And in daylight, this is the shade Naive. All right, now we're on to number five, Famous. This is the shade Famous. And in daylight, this is the shade Famous. All right, guys, moving on to number six, Now or Never. This is the shade Now or Never. And in daylight, this is the shade Now or Never. All right, guys, moving on to number seven, Honest. This 
This is the shade Honest. And in daylight, this is the shade Honest. All right, guys, the last but not least is number eight, Passionate. This is the shade Passionate. And in daylight, this is the shade Passionate. All right, guys, this is it. This is the eighth and final lip swatch. And I wanted to show you guys here arm swatches of the lipsticks. You guys know I always like to show you guys so you guys can see like the undertones and everything. And guys, per the usual, let me back the camera up so we can really talk about and digest these lipsticks. All right, guys, we backed the camera up and ooh, let's talk about these. So these feel extremely, extremely creamy. When I first added it, it felt like a lip balm. That's how creamy it feels. It's not matte. It's not satin. It's like a full on creamy lipstick. I feel like it's not as pigmented as it's saying. It said with one swipe, you'll get the pigment. I do have pigmented lips. So it could, it could differ with everyone. Of course, we're all different and we have different skin tones, but I didn't find that it was that pigmented. I really had to build it on to get the full pigment and the full color to show up on the skin. It's definitely buildable. If you want like a flush of color, you can definitely do that. If you want a full colored lipstick, you can do that also. So the product is quite versatile because it's very, very sheer. It also didn't stain my lips at all. I was expecting to get some staining, but I really didn't. So that's always nice. And the smell of the lipsticks, they smell like straight lipstick, but not that harsh, harsh smell that some lipsticks have. I feel like the Swap Me lipsticks, lip, <laughs> I feel like the Swap Me lipsticks always had that lipsticky smell and that's all I can really think of in my mind. But these don't smell like that, but it does have a bit of that scent, but it's not strong at all. It's, it's just like a little scent that comes up and then it goes away. So they're not that scented, but it does have like a little bit, just like a, like a sprinkle, you know? But other than that, we love the price. Each one costs $3.99, four bucks for a lipstick. That's always good. Essence is really a greatly priced makeup brand. And for the most part, they have pretty good products. These lipsticks are just that. They're really good lipsticks, but that's all it is. It's nothing more, it's nothing less. It's like your typical lipstick, but it does feel comfortable. You do have to build it up, especially if you have pigmented lips like me. And I don't think they're transfer proof or long lasting because that's like the name of the product. And let's just see if it's kiss proof. Yeah, it's not. It's definitely transferable. Oh my God, look, that kiss is like perfect. <laughs> I never get my little perfect kisses, but yeah, let's try it again. Yeah, so it's definitely not mask approved. It does say they are long lasting and lightweight. Definitely last weight, last weight, <laughs> lightweight, but I don't think it's long lasting because look, we already removed some and, and actually, oh my gosh, how am I forgetting the shades? I feel like the shades are freaking beautiful. Look at them. I like that there's nudes and reds. That's really the family they stayed in. And I actually want to show you guys here some swatches on my arm in daylight and they're in order of swatch. So number one through eight left to right. And I felt like these swatches really give the undertone justice and how beautiful they are, how creamy they look. And here you are in studio lighting, how they look a little further back. And I really liked the differences in the shade. When I first looked at them, when I saw shade number one and two, I'm like, oh my God, these kind of look the same. They both have that mauvey tone, but no, they don't. The undertone is slightly different but you could really see that in sunlight, which is why you guys know I love doing these in studio lighting and sunlight, but I love, love the shades. I like that they stuck to like a, a shade theme as opposed to going all over the place. I really like the names. They're super, super cute. I really love just how simple they are. They're numbered 
one through eight we have a family of shade colors and i could appreciate that you know so do you need these lipsticks no i don't think you need anything but i definitely don't think you need these lipsticks unless you're looking for a specific color unless you like one of these colors and you want to try it out sure it feels like your typical lipstick i don't think it's anything special but i don't think it's anything horrible i like them i thought they did what they're supposed to do lipsticks they add color to your lips they have the pigment but what stood out to me i feel like the most are the shades i feel like these shades although they're like a certain theme they would go well with a lot of skin tone so i could definitely always appreciate that i know the lipsticks are four dollars and i know the brand really keeps their prices low because i know packaging does cost a lot but i didn't like how you know when you ripped off the label it kind of leaves the sticky part here so you know mm. I was like, mm. and yeah, guys, I think this is it. I think I covered everything, but let me know your thoughts on these lipsticks. I, I do like them. I love Essence and girl, they're affordable. They're super, super inexpensive. That's always a thumbs up and a positive thing. And also guys, I want to show you if like it smears. Oh yeah, look. And mind you, this has been on the arm for, I don't know, maybe like 10 minutes. So yeah, definitely like to show you guys the deal and let me know what you think about these lipsticks have you seen them around are you planning to buy them you guys know we always have great conversations in the comments about makeup we're just one big happy family here and i think this is it guys oh yeah i was gonna do a wear test but i mean they're not really that long lasting so i'm like no they're transfer they're transferable they're gonna transfer on the mask and that's really what we want to know especially these days you know but i think this is it guys i love you guys so much thank you for always showing me love and support i truly truly appreciate it i love you guys please don't forget to like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye